What is going on, everybody? Canuck here. Welcome to another PGA Tour 2K23 course spotlight video. And today we are taking a look at Old Castle Prairie. This one caught my eye from, I think he goes by Chicken Wings. I love that name on uh, the TGC Tours forums. I think he has a slightly different Twitter handle, but I'll have to find it uh, when I link the video. But uh, yeah, we're going to give this a play. I believe it is actually a contest entry for the rookie design contest over on TGC Tours, which is ongoing right now. So um, and it certainly looks to me what caught my eye was this does not look like a rookie course. This looks like a very, very, very solid course you'd see from a very established designer. So we're going to jump in, give it a play. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. So Old Castle Prairie, let's get going. Uh, it's nice to get going with the videos again. So thank you guys for the support and watching the videos. It's nice to, to get back doing some content again. I've got a little bit of time off right now with it being winter break and all. So now's the time to do some of this recording. So uh, it's been a lot of fun so far. And uh, a lot of people have been asking me over on Twitter and YouTube comments. Can you play my course? Can you play my course? Can you play my course? I it, it at the end of the day, it really just comes down to what do I notice? OK, and it's usually something visual that I'll see on Twitter or over on the TGC Tours forums. So I don't mean to be rude if I don't respond, but I get I still get sometimes 10 messages a day. Can you play my course? And as much as I love to play them all, I just simply don't have time. Um, But yeah. Uh, you just kind of kind of catch my eye and this course definitely caught my eye and what really catches my eye here is this really stark contrast with this uh really really like light like brownish um planting with these uh this grass and the grass is definitely looks a bit bigger which tells me i th he may have single planted all of this which is absolute insanity <laughs> that would have taken forever um, but it is a really, really cool look. It's this kind of grass texture that really pops. Um, some grasses don't do that. This one does. It doesn't look that great close up, but, uh, from a distance, it, it is a really nice look. So it's got this really cool, oh my goodness, it's got a, this, I guess this is the castle. It's even got a drawbridge on it. That's pretty cool. Looks like you use like little camera dollies for that. Very neat, very creative. Uh, this looks like a great little plot of land for a golf course, so. Let's see how she plays. She looks good. But does she play as good as she looks? All right, here we go. That is a good opening drive. As, uh, I think our last video we played. Well, we haven't played in a couple days, so. Uh, the swing, we'll see how, we'll see how it goes here. All right, so we got a par five. Uh, I do like this second shot in. It is a little dangerous, especially if you are off to the left here through the fence. Is that out of bounds? Not out of bounds, but uh, it is a very dangerous second shot, especially if you hook it. Um, you don't necessarily need to be up there. I got a 10 mile an hour headwind, so I might just hit a three wood up to the top here. The wind should knock that down. Oh, no, it didn't. What do I know? That's why I don't play a lot of competitive rounds anymore. All right, we're going to have to lash this out here. Oh, that is an awful swing. And it will keep rolling and rolling and rolling. Yikes. All right. That's a bit better. All right, we're fumbling around this first hole here. But we have cleaned up our par. Nice opening hole. Like a good opening par five. Gives you a chance to score, which I did not. All right, second shot straight over water. There is, you just don't be short. Um, long, a couple bunkers long. I would have maybe liked to have seen a little bit more on this green, I think, just in terms of um, just in terms of some undulations. I mean, we were talking about things being too undulated in previous videos, but I maybe think this one might, especially front left, maybe could have used some more. This area here looks a little kind of eh. But see what we can do here. 
And as always with these videos, I do play for the back tees, and I usually pay, play pin one. So there's a nice shot. Set us up with a very slippery little downhill 12 footer here. Uh, I don't think I hit it hard enough. Well, I did, but it was just a poor shot. Just a very poor putt there. All right, in for par. All right, the third hole, very, very, very scary. Very slight camber from right to left, unfortunately. To the left is the water, so you can take a real aggressive line. I like this, and really flirt with that water. Or play it safe. And I don't really trust my swing right now, so... We're going to play this safe. Just knock the three wood up here. I, I think that's just fine. But I, I do like the uh, I like the options on this hole for sure. Little I, I would say a textbook little short par four. It's not necessarily reachable. That's ooh, I thought I hit that way too slow, but got away with just a slow. Eh, okay. Little delicate chip here. No. Alright. We will tap. Whoa, we're not tap in for a par. I missed a break there. Yikes. Alright. Gets us to one over par. Alright, we actually have another par three here. This is a much, much longer one. A really large but fairly interesting uh front run up here as people landing it you know playing it short here this little bump here can really take things both ways i like that that's a nice little addition there so we're gonna try to play it just over that little hump i hit that really nicely i might get a nice kick to the left here too a little bit it released very nicely. That is about as ideal a shot as I can get there. We'll take that. And we will pop it in for our birdie, erasing that bogey on three. Getting us to even par. All right, we got a long, long par four here. Fifth hole. Okay, I, I just... I, this is a really nice... Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to say traditional, but I guess kind of more of a traditional layout. Um, it plays really well. You can tell it's a designer that's definitely been studying strategy a lot. And it's not in your face, though. That's what I like. Uh, sometimes I find these some of these courses with strategy, it's just so in your face and every shot feels manufactured. Like, oh, it, you have to hit it exactly here and you have to hit it exactly here and I don't like that. This is a lot more of a subtle, I guess, <laughs> um, way of promoting strategy. I think he does it really well here. At least so far. We're only five holes in. Got a long uphill approach. Ooh, this is right at the pin. I'm back down. It might. It might. Uh, it's going to get caught up. I always play off to the right here because I hit that very fast with the chip, it seems, a lot of the times. Not that far over, though. All right. In for par. Challenging little uphill, not little, big uphill par five there. I like that one. Okay, we head to, from a long par four to a short par four. This one only clocking in at 297, way down the hill. You've got this little bit of... Uh, rough here just skirting up against the green that's gonna make things a little interesting here with the headwind i've got about a perfect shot here just we don't want to go right yeah we we yanked it left it's okay though oh no it's not we're right in that stuff we didn't want to be in and that's this is gonna leave a very tricky chip no, almost no chance in stopping this. I'm a little worried. That's, uh, that's scary. Thankfully, there's not. it's not all fair way into the water. That would be brutal. I mean, and that's... It. that's it. This is another great short four there. I mean, you're uphill there. I mean, yeah, that's technically a bit of a safer route. 
But that second shot is death. You've got almost no chance in stopping it, so... Uh, that is a very difficult short par 4, I think, done really, really well. Alright. Yeah, I, I'm very impressed with this course. Seventh hole, mid-length, par 4 here, into the wind. Bit of a dog leg to the left. And we are putting it right in the bunker, it looks like. Yep. Bunkers are very nicely sculpted from the looks of things. And we got to go up the hill. Not a great lie in the sand. I might even go up one more club here. Oh, I think that was the right call. This is hit very well out of the sand. Release. Here it comes. Great shot out of the sand. We'll take that. We hit that really hard. Oh. Worried that was going to be ugly, but we're in. We are in. All right. A third par three here on the front nine. A very scary little micro par three where if you are left, you are absolutely dead. I like that. I like this a lot. I, I find it very difficult myself to put in some strategy into like, I call the, if they're less than 100 yards, I just call these like micro threes. Um... But I like this. I mean, it is very easy to yank a, f a fast. I do it all the time. Not this time, though. And you're dead down in that gully there. So you, would, you don't want a bogey on the card on this hole, but it's easy to come by, it looks like. We're going to make a birdie, though, and play it properly. That gets us to two under par. Love it. All right. Off to the par 5 ninth short, but uh, not a lot of room to work with here. Oh boy. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to play off to the left center here. Ah, we hit it slow. You just missed that a little bit, and you're dead. And it's a short 5, so I mean, yeah, I'm in the rough, but we're just going to lay up, take our medicine here. Just going to take our medicine. There we go. Very well-placed bunkers as well. It's not uh, too in your face, even though there are a lot of them, but they're placed well. I don't have too much negative to say about this course so far. I am uh, thoroughly enjoying it. It looks good. It plays good. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Make it, make it, make it. Yes. All right, get on a bit of a run there on the first part of the front, or last part of the front nine. As we are out in three under. Interesting tee shot here. I like the uphill. And then it makes its way down the hill, too. Good use of elevation here. There's this little slope there on the fairway. I wasn't sure. It was kind of 50-50 which way it was going to go. All right. Yeah, this again is a green where I might have wanted to put a little bit more in. The green, the greens are very, very gentle. We've been talking the last couple of videos about uh, some greens being too harsh. These, this may be going to the other side. I would like maybe to see a little bit more challenge on the greens. Oh my goodness, what was that? Uh, wow. Every time I I knock a course, the cor the course is like, oh, I'll show you. I'll show you. Wow. Terrible swing, but we get away with it, sort of. And uh, now. No, that is an ugly, ugly start to the back nine. After three birdies to finish off the front, we make a bogey on ten. Brings us back to earth. All right, another... Slightly uphill second shot, bit of a longer hole at 460. Definitely a nice wide fairway. We'll knock it up there real nice. That gives me 148. Got a slight slow, but I'm getting away with it. 
Very nicely done. Leaving us a slight breaker here, 12 feet. And center of the cup. As we were all over the place in this round. Oh, there's a beautiful castle there. Our first look at it here on 12. I love this hole. I love how this opens up and kind of snakes its way around this little lake. Ooh, scary to go driver here. I think it's short enough for driver. Probably not the play as it really, really narrows up there. And the camera to the left. I mean, there's too many things that could go wrong there. And I don't trust my swing at all these days. So I am more, more than uh, happy just to take the layup and get out here. All right, this is definitely a little bit more of a challenging green. This is perched on a bit of a shelf here. I think I'm long. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just a touch too long. I really like the use of elevation here. He's done a, a very good job. Oh, get in. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Almost. All right. Really good hole there. Really good hole there. I'm curious if he pan... I, this looks like it's planted, single planted, which must have taken just eons to do. As a new designer, I do not recommend that. I mean, the lo it looks great, but uh, this that would have taken a very long time to do. Okay, another par three. Fairly gentle little one here. Uh, right in between clubs again. Get that pretty well. Ooh, a little short though. And a right on a little bump here. We got 21 feet. Did we hit it right? No. Nope. Played a bit too much break. We'll take our par. And head to 14. Another interesting short par 4 here. Lots of variety in this course, too. The hole designs are... Uh, there's a lot of variety here. A lot of variety. Boom. That's right where we want to be. I'm going to try to play a little backspin here. Oh, I don't know. Stop dead. There we go. That was played well. Yes. That is how you play the short par 3 14th. Par 4 14th, I should say. Oh, and now we got another par 3 here. Downhill, only 120 yards here, but... A diabolical little green. Interesting. Loping heavily towards the water. A couple like side shelf. Probably not the right word, but. Oh boy. We're not on the right shelf. That's going to give us an uphill putt here. Break now. Break more. Break more. No. Not enough. Interesting little par 3. He's done the par 3s, I think, fairly well. Fairly well. Lots of variety. Okay. Short 5. We're going to play up the right side here. Oh, no, we're not. Kick hard. Get out of there. Uh, I really wanted to be aggressive and go for it in 2. I'll look at the little stop signs. A lot of little off-course detail here, too. Looks really good. You can tell this is a designer that's uh, really taken his time. This is one of those courses that uh, I take notice of, especially when it's from a designer who I'm not overly familiar with. I see him a lot in, in streams and on the forums. Uh, Chicken Wings. I've seen him pop into my stream from time to time. Uh, but I'm not overly familiar with his work, but uh, this one I will remember. That's for sure. 
terrible shot. Ah. All right. Get going. Okay. Tap in for par. All right, 17, another short-ish par four. I think we can take it over those bunkers. I love the tee shot here. Really nice sight line. Really nice sight lines. That is where we want to be. Ooh, 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 tricky little pitch. I think we might try to flop it just because there's not a lot of room to work with, and I don't really have a club for this either. Oh, God, what a terrible shot. Terrible shot. Can't even make the green there. Ugly. Hit it. Hit it. Ah! Stop. All right. Bit of an ugly hole there after a good drive, but we're in. All right. Par 5, 18th. Another short, scorable one here. And we absolutely just shank it off the fairway. The swing just melts away, I find, late in the round. Alright, well, we're gonna hit the three wood. Oh, that's not really the line I wanted, but we get away with it. That majestic castle in the back. Yeah, really nice attention to detail, both on and off this course. Makes it a full experience to play. We didn't play particularly well, but I certainly enjoyed the round there. That is a five under 66. And we are done here at Old Castle Prairie from Chicken Wings. I very, very highly recommend this course. I don't have much to fault it at all. Maybe a couple greens that were a little on the weak side, but I mean... The whole variety was great. It was sculpted well. It was great strategy, but not too much in your face. I feel like you can pl the wind and the pin placements this is going to be play are very different depending on your conditions and the pins as well. Um, I, I I got pretty much nothing but good things to say about this course. And the fact that this is in the rookie competition, I mean, this thing is... I mean, I don't know what else is, is on. I haven't really followed that competition too much, but... Whew. If this is what rookies are coming up with, then uh, we're in a good spot here for, for course design. So uh, well done. Old Castle Prairie, highly recommended. Go give it a play. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.